Hi guys, it is a beautiful day here in the end times in paradise, St. Croix Virgin Islands, but the storm clouds are gathering here on Thursday morning, I believe March 24th, 2016. So since I don't have my prearranged rant, I'm just doing a few little flotsam and jetsam pieces. So I thought today might be a good day to go through my mail bag of love letters and just on Friday uh, I mentioned in my ecological meltdown roundup rant about the whole idea of population control e even even birth control uh, you know being a taboo subject to talk about e in the article I was talking about was, was the environmental groups, the, these limp dick mainstream environmental groups not touching the subject of birth control, and which is another way of saying not approaching the problem of overpopulation, the number one biggest problem, the number one biggest threat facing this planet. So I had that uh, rant, and then a couple of days later, I hear from, I assume it's a woman, I'm taking a wild guess here, named USS Voyager. Now, now she was not commenting on that rant from last week. What she was commenting on was a rant I did over a year ago. If you remember this, this clueless moron Bitch over there in Germany. This was, I believe, a 64-year-old German woman. She was a school teacher in Germany. At age 64, she already had, I believe it was nine children and seven grandchildren, but at age 64, she decided to be artificially inseminated, no doubt, because no man uh, could get a heart on around her. She opted at age 64 to be artificially inseminated where she got pregnant with quadruplets. And, and I'm pretty sure they, they all survived and are healthy. So she was now a mother of 13 children. 13 children seven grandchildren and counting, and I had a little bit of a problem with that. Yes, I did. Your old eco-Nazi had a little bit of a problem with a 64-year-old woman with nine children uh, getting herself artificially inseminated to have four more little planet-eating bundles of joy. And this is the response I got from USS Voyager. I'm going to read this entire thing and then come back and, and break it down. Um, okay, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. If you know that the human race is contributing to the damage of this planet, why don't you set an example by ending your life then? You're human as well. Remember, you're part of the human population, which means you also contribute to resources being used up and pollution being generated. Your computer, for example, was created from resources and built in a pollution generating factory. Your computer, along with your other products and your house, also require power. Power stations provide you and other civilians with power while at the same time generating pollution from the gas turbine engines they use to power the generators. If you are so passionate about your logic, why not lead the way and jump in front of something? But you won't, will you? Want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because you are a cowardly, worthless, self-righteous, idiotic, hypocritical little fruitcake. You have the nerve to point out that humans are selfish and destroyers. Blah, blah, blah. Same old shit. And yet you 
you also consume resources and contribute to pollution. So you're basically raging at people for doing the exact same thing you're doing. Priceless. Pretentious little bitches like you are more repulsive than retarded humans. You are pathetic. And claiming women are selfish for having kids? So, by that logic, it was wrong for your mother and father to bring you into the world. It's now a crime for people to have their own families because some dumbass pussy called Humpty Dumpty Tribe said so? Laughing my ass off. Shut the fuck up and cry me a river, bitch boy. The human race will continue living whether you like it or not. Hypocritical cowards like you can cry a river for all I care. But until you set an example in terms of the human race deserving to die, guess what? You will always be a gutless, hypocritical coward with a loud mouth who spends his sorry ass life making bullshit videos on YouTube while you sit behind a Cheeto stained keyboard in your parents' basement. Go outside. Get a life, get a job, and shut the fuck up, you pathetic piece of shit. There you go. That is USS Voyager commenting on my video calling out this clueless bitch in Germany for having 13 children the last four at age 64 from artificial insemination. And this is the response I got. So this woman, I think that video is about nine minutes long. This is how long USS Voyager knew me. This is the total she knows about me, as far as I know, to come up with that. And, and, and guys, I, you know, I can't resist. Before I get off on the rant, I just have just a, a you know, just, just USS Voyager, I've got to say, in, uh, in five years of doing this, this fucking bitch is probably the number one biggest clueless moron troll that, that I've encountered. You know, I would use the C word, but, but, calling, but, but calling this fucking feminazi a cunt is insulting to the word cunt. At least that implies uh, th 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 this clueless fucking feminazi bitch ha even has a pussy. My guess is between her legs is one of those uh, leg hole traps, uh, w w you know, with those uh, steel jawed traps with uh, with the sharp teeth on them. She probably has a uh, a coyote paw hanging from between her legs, and she probably has to masturbate. Uh, with a titanium dildo, so I'm not too worried that uh, that this fucking feminazi bitch has actually bred. Uh, can you imagine uh, any any poor schmuck uh, ha having having this fucking bitch in, in his life? But anyway, uh, enough wasting enough breath on USS Voyager. You know, it's just she is. She's just a little, like, an over-the-top example uh, of exactly what Manga Bay was talking about in their article last week uh, about how these environmentalists uh, are just too scared uh, of going up against this attitude. It is this attitude that, that is bringing down this planet. You know, so let's, let's just go through this. Of course, there's this first one. You know, anybody uh, who has ever suggested that overpopulation is a problem on this planet and, and has the nerve to suggest that the human race 
is contributing to the damage of this planet. If you suggest that, you're going to get these, it, it's, a, it's a various subset of the, uh, uh, of the conspiracy wackos, you know, talking about the New World Order uh, depopulation agenda to take on 90%, you are going to invariably get this knee slapper original thought about setting an example by killing yourself. How many times uh, have we heard this? Uh, so first you got to deal with this. But of course, what is behind the scenes here, guys, is, is these clueless morons uh, such as, as, as USS Voyager and Alex Jones and, and all of this ilk uh, who think it's, you know, that every goddamn woman on this planet has a God-given right to have 13 children. Uh, you know, they, they, they fail to... They completely do not have the intellectual capabilities to separate the difference between increasing the death rate and decreasing the birth rate. So what she's implying in here is that people such as myself are are recommend myself and Paul Ehrlich and, uh, and, and the usual gang of suspects, the eugenicist in the New World Order, which it is anybody who, who has a problem with this woman having 13 kids, is a eugenicist pawn of the New World Order, a, uh, a propagandist for the New World Order's uh, depopulation agenda, as I have been called. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 oh, oh yeah, uh, but they do not understand that at least no one that I have met, myself, Paul, or like any of these other guys, are saying it is time to increase the death rate. Now, that is what Mother Nature is going to do by... Uh, to, to take care of herself. She is going to increase the death rate. You see it beginning to unfold in uh, sub-Saharan Africa right now. But it, it is decreasing the birth rate. Once the cat is out of the bag, you know, go ahead. You've got your pass. And uh, so... She will, and, and, and obviously when USS Voyager wrote this, uh, I assume she was unaware, and probably still is unaware, I don't know why she would be aware of the fact that I set my example by getting myself sterilized at age 22 before I ever had one planet-eating bundle of joy, much less 13 of them. So, yes, if you want to set an example of how to save the planet, it is by decreasing the birth rate. So, yes, I set my example. But, of course, it would mean absolutely nothing to this clueless cunt if, even if she had that knowledge, she would say that because I am not killing myself, if I am not setting an example by killing myself, that I am every bit as guilty of eating this planet as, the, as this fucking clueless bitch over there in Germany having 13 children. She would see no difference. Zero difference. None of these fucking clueless morons have, have the intellectual capability to understand the difference between decreasing the birth rate to set an example 
for the planet. Uh, it, 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 they, they don't understand it. They are, they are intellectually incapable of seeing the difference. And so anyone suggesting that uh, it, it's just a little bit uncool uh, for, for some bitch to do this, you will, if you suggest this, you will always be a gutless, hypocritical coward and a pathetic piece of shit. And, you know, obviously, why do you think these, uh, these goddamn little <coughs> limp dick mainstream environmentalist don't talk about the single biggest problem on the planet. It, it, it's because of fucking clueless cunts like this little feminazi bitch. You know? Uh, it's not worth it to him. It's not worth it. Uh, it, it, it it's hopeless. The, the situation is utterly hopeless and, and, and nowhere have I found a better example in five years uh, of preaching to the choir uh, about this, about this crystal clear example uh, of what Manga Bay was talking about in their article last week. Uh, it's just one more reason to be completely hopeless that the, these little uh, environ, limp dick environmentalists <clears throat> rolling over and playing dead because they realize the tsunami uh, of, of ignorance. The, the, these clueless morons, these feminazis who place the individual right uh, of any clueless bitch on this planet from sub-Saharan Africa uh, to Germany, where every one of those women's kids has twice the environmental footprint uh, of a kid being born in sub-Saharan Africa, that, that any woman, that her right, her God-given right to choose to have 13 children trumps the right of this planet to have uh, th those little planet nibbling bundles of joy inflicted upon them, and 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 I assure you that uh, her opinion, although maybe not quite so stridently stated, is the dominant opinion on this planet. Uh, there are a hell of a lot more people agreeing uh, with this clueless little cunt uh, than there are agreeing uh, with Paul Ehrlich or Al Bartlett or David Attenborough or James Lovelock, Alan Wiseman, William Catton, pretty much anybody with a, a fourth grade ed education in ecological science, as I was mentioning in a, in a comment today to one of my videos, that 99.99% that of the planet do not have a fourth grade level of understanding of, of basic ecological principles about carrying capacity. And, and, and that is one more reason to be utterly, completely hopeless about the situation. And uh, there you go. Anyway, guys, I got two more uh, rants to uh, come at you with today. So let me wrap this one up and I'm going to come back to uh, do my conspiracy wacko rant a couple of days late about the Brussels bombing for this rant. Bye, guys.